What you are hearing is the language of the Hakka people, set to modern music. Hakka band Zishen and Stow Chen created the music with the help of artificial intelligence to showcase and raise awareness of their mother tongue. They were joined by 17 other performers, most of whom are also Hakka, at Taipei Music Center over the weekend. The event was a celebration of the 20th anniversary of the Hakka TV ethnic television station. Which was first set up to promote the struggling language. I think the Korean language is actually getting less and less popular. So we were just thinking that actually getting to know the Korean language or getting to meet the Korean language can be done in many different ways. Music is just one of them. There are more than 4.5 million Hakka people in Taiwan, but only 38% of them speak the language fluently. Hakka people are very diverse. They are not only Hakka, but they are also Hakka. 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 At the time, the authorities deemed speaking Hakka, Taiwanese Hokkien, or any other indigenous language as out of line with the national identity set up by the authoritarian government. But in today's free and open society, both older and younger singers are working together, hoping to bridge the linguistic gap between generations. Luo Shifeng's Samuel Anjiang is a Hakka pop song from two decades ago. Samuel Anjiang means, girl, you are so beautiful. For a lot of people, it's the first song that comes to mind when they think of Hakka music. But the Hakka music scene has changed dramatically in recent years. It's no longer just one genre. Something that emerging Hakka hip-hop artist Yapi wants to show with his reimagining of Luo's classic. I chose to use the drill music and mix it with Jersey drill. It feels like a Jersey drill feeling. In the lyrics, I did a similar feeling of how to follow the women to find a young girl. The event brought together singers of Hakka, Taiwanese Minnan, and Puyuma origins, all ethnic groups which have faced difficulties in preserving their cultures and languages. Hakka music pioneer Xie Yuwei sang with two other acclaimed singers, Xie Mingyou, who is best known for his Taiwanese Hokkien songs, and indigenous Puyoma singer Sambui. The song they performed, Songs of Jolly Gathering, speaks of how different ethnic groups can come together in Taiwan and coexist in harmony. The mix of cultures was also a theme of the show. This song by Huang Yuhan was written in both Hakka and Bahasa Indonesia, Dedicated to her ethnic roots in both Indonesia and Taiwan. You hear this song, it's very good. This music is very good. You may want to learn how to sing it. When you learn how to sing it, you will learn the language. There is still a lot of work to do to promote the Hakka language and culture in mainstream media. But the crowds at this weekend's event are showing the Hakka people can coexist in harmony. The crowds at this weekend's event show that change could soon be on the horizon. But the crowds at this weekend's event show that change could soon be on the horizon. Kamashi and Yujin Huang for Taiwan Plus.